Hey guys, I'm Tom the Tech Chap and this is the new Intel Nook, the Hades Canyon Nook. Now most people don't really know what Nook stands for and to be honest, it doesn't really matter, but it actually means next unit of computing, which is a whole new level of super compact PC, but with a full fat processor and especially on this new Hades Canyon Nook, actually some decent graphics so you can play games at full HD. So I'm gonna unbox this and also set it up because this is actually what you call a bare bones kit PC. What that means is you get everything except the RAM and the storage. You buy those separately, which means you can customize it the way you like. How much RAM you need, how much storage you need, how much you wanna pay and all that. You can actually buy this pre-installed with everything if you like, it costs a little bit more, but let's get straight into it and show you inside. But I do have to make a confession and that I have already unboxed this because I was actually using this at EGX, a gaming show here in the UK uh, recently with Intel and showing off of what the Nook can do, doing some live setup demos, which was so much fun. Apologies that this isn't super brand new. There's no plastic to peel off, which I know is the best part of any unboxing video, but I'm still gonna show you how it all works. And that is literally it. This is a new Hades Canyon Nook. And it's about the size of a large person's hand, I suppose. It's tiny. I mean, look at the difference between a full desktop and the Nook. Now, obviously this isn't gonna replace that. It's a different level of performance, but despite its small size, this still has a full fat quad core processor, the i7-8809G, which comes with a Radeon RX Vega M GH graphics chip actually built into it. Ports wise, we have pretty much everything in the known universe, it seems. Intel really have packed this thing to the brim with I.O., including three USB-C ports, two of which are Thunderbolt 3. So you can always hook up a external graphics card if you want even more power to this. Headphone jack, power, and even two, two gigabit LAN ports, because when one Ethernet port simply isn't enough. Why would you want that? You know what, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe if you're streaming games and you want a dedicated uh, internet channel for your gaming, another one for the streaming and uploading so it doesn't cross over and reduce your bandwidth, I suppose that's a good reason. But either way, Intel have really made this something that a pro user would want. That is a lot of ports. But let me put this to one side for a second and show you what else is in the box because I've, as you can see, made a great effort to package this back really nicely, really professionally. <laughs> uh, but we've got the power brick which is about the same size as the Nook, or they're about half the thickness, as well as a Visa mount plate, which is really interesting because you could actually pop this on here and then stick it to the back of your TV or the back of your monitor because this would be a great living room PC, a VR PC, maybe an office PC. So you can just Visa mount it, hide it away. It's pretty cool. We've also got a few bits of paperwork, uh, a plug for different regions, and an Allen key, which we'll need to open this up. So that's the box. Let's pull that to one side, as well as the power brick, and actually open this thing up and get these things installed. Now you'll need two things, the Allen key, which comes in the box, and a Phillips head screwdriver. Any one, it doesn't come with the box, I'm sure you've got one lying around. So to start with, we need to take off this base plate, this top plate even, which actually has that awesome little devil skull thing, which we'll see uh, light up here when we plug it in. So to start with, we need to use the Allen key on these six screws. And we're done, that's it. So now we can just lift off this top plate. But you can see already this is the cutout for the eyes of where that devil's face is gonna be, that skull, which is gonna be really, really cool when it's plugged in and lit up. We're almost there, there's just two more little things that we need to do. First of all, we have to unscrew this one little screw here, and this is where the Phillips head uh, screwdriver comes in handy. Again, it's quite a little bit fiddly, so <laughs> try not to lose those. And then just carefully pull this little plug out like that. Now, I would recommend just tucking that in there because now what we're gonna do is just pull the whole plate off. Nice and easy, just like that. And we're in, that is it. So now we can install the RAM and the storage. Everything else is in place. It's not as complicated as you might think. Don't worry, anyone can do this. So let's say you've bought this Hades Canyon Nook. It's about 850 pounds. This is the bare bones kit. So then all you need to do, as I said at the beginning, is choose your memory and your storage. Now, unlike previous Nooks and previous bigger Nooks, which had room for two and a half and I think three and a half inch storage drives, hard disks, this is M2 only, basically one of these sticks. I've got the Intel, what is it? The Intel 760p SSD here. It's a 512 gig M2 NVMe SSD. So it's really, really fast. So firstly, let's put that in. And before you do this, do make sure 
you ground yourself because you're touching live components. So uh, don't rub your socks on a carpet before you handle these. But to install the storage, we just need to unscrew this little M2 holdy downy screwy thing. And then it's simply a case of popping it in like that. And then we'll secure it with the screw that we just pulled out. This is definitely the fiddliest part of the whole operation and where a magnetic screwdriver would definitely come in handy, but I think we've got it. Screw that in nice and securely. And that is the storage, halfway there. Second thing is the RAM. Now ideally you should use two sticks of RAM so you get dual channel RAM. That gives you the most optimum performance. Uh, but Intel kindly provided me with this stick of uh, 16 gigabyte RAM in a single stick. So maybe I'll actually buy another set of 16 because you can get two RAM modules in here. But for now I've got one DIMM uh, module of 16 gig RAM, which I'm just going to slot in there and push down until it clicks, like so. That's it. That is literally it. We have set up a bare bones kit PC and it looks so complicated to start with. As you can see, that was super, super simple. Anyone can do that. If you're not sure what components to use, I've put links in the description below for these exact ones so you can basically have the exact same setup as me. And so all that's left to do is pop the case back on. We just need to feed this little cable through here, pop that on there, and then put this plug back in there. Screw that back in, and then just put the top plate back on and screw these back in with the Allen key. Boom, job done. All we gotta do now is plug the power in, connect this up to my monitor, and install Windows. Let's do it. So with the Nook fired up, this thing looks pretty awesome. The skull might not be to everyone's taste, but it certainly makes it stand out. So all you then need to do is install Windows or whatever operating system you like, and you're good to go. And naturally, the first thing I put on it is Steam because, well, I want to play a little bit of PUBG. And that's where the Radeon RX Vega M graphics chip comes in. It's a lot more powerful than integrated chips on Intel's processors. And it means that even in a game like PUBG, at Full HD, I'm getting a solid and very playable 60 FPS. So yeah, this isn't meant for super high-end or 4K gaming, of course not. But at Full HD, or if you're using a VR headset, it's surprisingly capable. And considering how portable and compact it is, I can definitely see this being useful for eSports titles and taking it to tournaments and LAN parties. But with that power and the range of ports and the fact that you can customize the storage and memory, this could actually be a really good productivity machine for office work or photo and video editing. So that is the new Hades Canyon Nook from Intel, which starts at about 850 pounds here in the UK for the bare bones kit. I'd love to hear what you make of it and how you could see yourself maybe using it in the comments below. And I've put links to everything you need if you want to find out more in the description below. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you found that useful. If you did, click that like and subscribe button below. And I'll see you guys next time right here on The Tech Chat.